But let's talk about the veterans. So these types of veterans, you would see them at places that foreigners hang out. Why not? Yeah. I'm more smarter and I'm more well experienced because of my age or because of what I've been through in a relationship. No, it's not like that. And honestly speaking, we encounter and uh, really witness this type of situation here yes. in Cebu City. These types of Filipinas, because yes, they're really eye candy, but who knows, that eye candy that you're looking at are thorns, Yes. are daggers that can easily stab you behind the back. Welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's subject, Filipina veteran walker. Before we start, dagit salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. Well, so, yes, well, well. guys. Here in the Philippines, there are veteran walkers guys yes not just in the philippines but all over the world but since our subject today is about filipina then we will talk about a veteran a filipina walker and yes. before we continue would like to put a disclaimer on this video not all filipinas are like this so yes. still there are lots of filipinas who are keeper a traditional and a Filipina that can take care of the house. Yes, that is true, guys. You just really need to open your eyes. Yes. Don't use your small head, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me as a guy, I would say that sometimes love is blind. Yes, love is blind. Like it can really try to close your eyes and you would really dream that this is it. Yes, and especially if the woman is a player and knows how to play the game. Yes, <laughs> especially she's a veteran walker. So these types of people, they can easily try to trick you, deceive you in any way as possible. So they are trained and well experienced. So you think that they're gullible, they're innocent, they're still young, but you don't know that they're much more smarter than you are yes so age is not a basis guys yes if uh, she's a veteran on or into it so for sure um she'll know everything and like i said earlier she knows how to play the game yes she will just uh, trap you and get your attention and feelings especially your love so if you are in love with her so that's the moment that gonna be painful in your part yes especially if you will gonna lose her that's true they would really dig deeper deeper than you will ever imagine guys like you will not know that oh they're already getting money from you yes, yes. and uh, other thing as well that you need to uh, remember even though if she's a liberated filipina to tell you honestly guys a liberated Filipina knows how to limit and um, she still have like this kind respect. of boundaries and respect especially yes. for herself that's um, true yeah we cannot say that a liberated Filipina uh, she will just go with you or bond with you no she still has these boundaries yes yeah, she would have this respect even though the most liberated Filipina if she value herself she would always try to put that boundaries at front and she would not lay low or she would not be vulnerable so she would still be uptight and she would be cautious because we're talking about different culture here and if this is her first time like dating a foreigner of course she would be high alert of course yes, yes. but let's talk about the veterans so these types of veterans, you would see them at places that foreigners hang out. Yes, number like, one, you have to be mindful is about the place where she hangs out. Okay, let's say for example, she knows that this place has a lot of foreigners. So yeah. that's 
her main target. Yes. So you need to think again, guys. Filipinos would not stay there in a foreign location, especially if that location, the restaurant itself, is expensive. We Filipinos, we budget our money. So we go to places that are cheap. So if that person or if that woman is staying there and she's bystanding there for a couple of times already, or even that's just the first time you saw her, yeah. you would question yourself, why is she here? That's What's her purpose? That's a place that is most of the prices of the food are expensive. Yes, and uh, not unless if uh, she's, she was like invited by her friends or her foreign friend, right? Yes. So, a typical Filipina would, won't stay there. Yes, that's true. Because, say for example, she would stay there alone without any friend. You would already know that she's already searching for her prey. Of course. Yes. And number one, that's a red flag already. Yeah. So... If you want to date a Filipina like that, so then you have uh, this kind of second thought that, okay, do I have to uh, uh, be like serious with her or what? Or do I know her more? Or should I just close or something? Yes, and when it comes to those Filipina, number two, they're well experienced. Even though that they're at the age of 22, 23, at their early 20s, they can really try to juggle you they can really play the game you would think that ah this philippine is gullible i can play her <laughs> yeah why not yeah. i'm more smarter and i'm more well experienced because of my age or because of what i've been through in a relationship no it's not like that yeah like i said earlier age is not the basis for a filipina or a veteran walker yes so again you cannot say that this young Filipina is innocent. Yes. So don't say it like that because actually, and honestly speaking, we encounter and uh, really witness this type of situation here yes. in Cebu City. Yes, that is true, guys. And you would think that they're really innocent. And yeah, most of foreigners like that. They like those innocent type of Filipina that they're gullible, they're easy to play at. You like those types of Filipina. Not all of you, but yes, some of you would like that, that they're really innocent. But you think that wrongly. They can act well. Yes, and especially for a foreigner first-timer in the Philippines, they're much more like vulnerable for this veteran walker. Yes. Because uh, they don't have like any experience dating Filipina. Yes, that is true. So, you really need to have your guard up, guys. You always need to be cautious with everything. Because these veteran walkers, they can really try to act that they're really innocent. Like, you would really think that, oh, this woman is really innocent. I like her. She's a traditional Filipina. Yeah. Like that. You would think wrongly of them. Because they're showing that towards you. So that you can get the hook yes. like you would be hooked by them and remember this guys like if you invited her or something like she will show like she's a good one like mm -hmm. a traditional filipina that will take care of the house or take care of you no don't believe that because that would be her first step or move to like make you blind yes and also guys be mindful of what you inform them say for example you inform about your job you inform what you do or what your income is or what your purpose here in coming in the philippines so they gather that information so that they can use that towards you and there are filipinas that is quite easy they would they would ask you oh do you have a place here are yeah, you on a vacation question. do you have a condo it's like that can i stay at your place so you're already thinking oh jackpot i'm lucky already because i didn't do anything but she's already giving herself to me right don't think that way so if you want to have like a girl during the night then don't be too serious about her 
Yes, and mind you guys, even though that you invite her in your condo, there are times that she would really just wander around looking at elsewhere. She would really know your personal information, especially you're the type of guy that are too friendly. Honest, yeah. open. And too honest, too open, and you really show what you are. Yeah. That's already a wrong move. Make your Filipina wonder who are you. Yeah, yes. make uh, make yourself like mysterious. Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous. Yes. I think that's uh, the best thing that you need to do at first. Yes. Then, uh, like what we mention every time in our video, that take time to know each other. So don't uh, fall in love right away. Well, it's normal to fall in love and to get blind with, but be mindful it's be always gonna be, mindful uh you will have regrets in the end yes because there are instances that also if she already gathered that information and she already get your trust she would use that and you would really not notice that she's already getting money from you and this is one trick of filipinas that are veterans they would just say oh i like this it's so cute right and you would, of course, you're a guy. You would ask, oh, yeah, it's cute. Um, do you want to buy it? It's like that. So, of course, the Philippine, I don't have money. And since you're generous, you would say, oh, okay, we can buy that. True. So, so you have to remember that uh, advice. And that's coming from Esme. Yes, that's right. So That's one technique of yeah. women that are veterans and uh, getting money from you but they're not really asking for it yeah they won't uh, tell like in front of you that they're asking but the way like they express their uh, thoughts or yeah, feelings, feelings their situation their problems especially problems once a filipina would open up about problems 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 that's already a good hint that she's asking for money yeah so i think our OG's uh, subscribers knows about this already. Like, yes. Especially, let's say for example, oh, I don't have internet connection, blah, 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 my boarding house, and yes. other bills to pay. Yes. So if she will open up like that, then you have the second thought already. Yes, that is true, guys. Because again, not all are well-experienced foreigners. Not all can knows the person right away there are really vulnerable foreigners especially if this is her first time and they're seeking for love here in the philippines they are blinded by it and they think that's the that's the right one but they think wrong right again there's always this another side of the coin true and aside from that uh, you have to remember or for me as a guy veteran walker their type of woman that easy to get yes so not all easy to get out there that uh, they're bad or a veteran just that this type of person not 100% yeah. they're not true guys they're just trying to be easy to get so that they can get information from you guys and they get what they want again these are veterans they're really good at acting they're really good at drama they're really get good at getting your attention playing yes they're good at playing they're aces so you really need to be precautious at these types of filipinas because yes they're really eye candy but who knows that eye candy that you're looking at are thorns yes are daggers that can easily stab you behind the back yeah, so my advice is just uh, study her behavior, okay? Just study her behavior and until such time that you figured out that this Filipina is a good one or a keeper. Yes, so that is true. So then you have to close the deal. <laughs> yes, because once a keeper, always a keeper. Yeah. Yes. So thank you so much guys for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate, just, just love. love. Bye. Bye.